Good Friday morning and thanks for logging on to your Aggie Land Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Natalie Ferrari. We've been tracking a cold front overnight through the early morning hours. It did bring a few isolated showers and thunderstorms in the area, but very few and far between, more so for our eastern and northeastern counties early this morning. Now, as we go through the next couple of hours, you are noticing temperatures are a little bit cooler this morning, especially to our northern counties, waking up closer to the lower to mid 60s. And that's because winds have already made that shift out of the north north and out of the northeast for the northern half of the area. They're gradually still making that shift down to the south. So what that means is things are still mild that direction, but give it some time. Winds will pick up a little bit of speed and help to drive in some cooler air again out of the north today. Regardless, winds will be coming in anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. So noticing the occasional breeze from time to time. But let's take a glance here at pinpoint radar. Most of us rather quiet, if anything, just dealing with cloudy conditions. But look at our neighbors out, out towards Montgomery County. They did see an isolated thunderstorm over the past hour, but that since has since dissipated. Now just looking at a few spotty showers, some of which are even extending up through Lake Livingston, just east there of San, uh, San Jacinto County. Now as we go through the next couple of hours, what we're anticipating is that cold front to continue to sweep on towards the Houston area, and that does have them under a slight risk for severe weather today, but I think for the most part, it's going to be a bit of a struggle for some of those uh, storms to churn up. Regardless, for us, we are still calling a four a 40% chance to see some early morning scattered showers try to move on through or any showers that would linger behind that front. That's what that chance accounts for. Other than that, by the afternoon, we'll keep things mostly cloudy and on the cool side. I think highs will actually struggle to make their way near the lower 70s. And again, it's because cooler air is coming in from the north. So things are just going to get a little bit cooler in those 60s this morning before they try to make their way in the 70s by this afternoon. Now look what happens as we make our way towards Saturday. Plenty of cloud cover to go around. We'll call things pretty cloudy in the morning hours, but then by the afternoon, looking at a 50% chance for some scattered showers and maybe even a few isolated thunderstorms, some of which will linger around throughout the evening hours. So rain chances will be picking up towards your Saturday forecast and again, even on Sunday. Again, as for today, we'll call it cooler and cloudy out there. Temperatures trying to aim for the lower 70s. A little bit of a light breeze coming in out of the northeast is what's going to keep us on the cool side today, but those temperatures rebound as we make our way towards the weekend. Even for your upcoming work week, we'll kick things off near the lower 80s with really good rain chances on Sunday and Monday. Not only scattered showers, but we could see a few isolated thunderstorms between those two days. And then another front rolls in just in time for Tuesday morning, again, briefly cooling things down before we gradually warm things up by the end of next week. Regardless, we'll keep those rain chances in the seven-day forecast. If we're lucky, we may finally see a little bit of clearing, though, towards your next weekend a forecast until then this weekend is going to be a cloudy and soggy one so definitely keep the rain gear nearby thanks again for logging on